Dear Diary, it's a brand new day in the nature Isle of Dominica. Today I am thankful for life. I and my friends are going to be surprising our friend Tolu today. Wanna turn around and see how it says? <laughs> It was funny how she didn't know she was walking into her own surprise. The whole idea was that this was a friend's picnic. She wasn't even sure if she was going to attend. So like, it was crazy trying to surprise her. Because if you know, it's always so crazy trying to surprise her. But I'm just glad everything worked down in the end. And, you know, everybody had a lovely time. We had an amazing time. So yesterday I went to town to get a few things done. I also had to print out some games we're going to play today during the... You know, surprise. So I went to print yesterday and I sent three things to this guy, but he only gave me two things. So instead of printing 45 copies for me, he printed 30 copies. So the first game, I'm still going to cut it later on, but this is what the first game is or looks like. So I also got this bride to be um, party thing. Then I got this. Um, Banner says bright to be, you can see here, this is what it looks like. I got plates to match, you know, the vibe I'm going for. And I just got some other stuff that I was using cup, spoon, pan. So I want to bake a cake, that's what I'm about to do now. I want to bake a cake that we're going to be using for the shower. It's not a big cake, it's just one layer cake. We have cake, number one is cake. And number two, we have rice and chicken sauce, and most likely puff puff. I'm not sure if I have energy, then I'll make some puff puff. But yeah, that's what we have. So I'm really excited. Anyways, she she did not see this coming. She's not even seeing it coming. She doesn't even know that it's for her. She thinks it's somebody else's um picnic. She doesn't know it's her own like surprise. <laughs> if you know Tolu, you know that before you can surprise Tolu, you will sweat like this. You will sweat because she's like she's, she's like a detective, a stubborn child. She will be like, I know, I know, I know you're doing this thing. Capturing our plan. She'll just say, ah, mmm. Or she'll come and be like, Ashley, da da da. So this one she's not even going to see it coming at all. That's why I'm happy. Like I started off the day by making breakfast. So today I'm going to be having bread and watermelons for breakfast. I need energy to get through today, so yeah. Don't mind me, I, I did not eat all of this at once, trust me, please. <laughs> all I can say is that this was yummy. So first we have the cake mix here. I didn't find red velvet, I didn't find white, like plain white. So I just went with this one. It shouldn't be that bad, it's a thought that counts, right? And I also have icing sugar. I'm not going to be using all of this. I didn't find a smaller one in the store I went to, so that's why I got this big size. I'm going to be using like half of it. I, I didn't even plan on using icing sugar, but I didn't find the whipped heavy cream I was looking for to make the whipped icing because we're trying to be healthy, but I didn't find so I'll just have to use this but a smaller portion. So yeah, um are you ready? Are you ready? to add our eggs water and oil although I don't like to I like to add I always tweak their recipe to make mine because I mean <laughs> why not mm. baking this cake a lot of things were going through my mind like is this surprise going to work out is everything going to be fine because my friend called me some minutes before to tell me that she said she was not coming again so i was like ha after all this my hard work she's not coming again we now called her fiance and asked him what we should do he now said that if she, if she didn't want to like go we should just tell her we're going to wherever she wants us to go to but we'll now take her to <laughs> her own surprise <laughs> that was very funny but 
I'm glad in the end she agreed to come. We even my friend Fever had to vlog. Like she didn't want reason why was Fever vlogging. Like <laughs> so it was really beautiful because like we actually pulled it off and yeah the cake is almost ready. Time to be baked and it turned out great. Let's see, I did pretty good. Hi loves, look whose cake is ready. It's so beautiful, like wow. Did you like the cake? I'm going to leave you guys a piece, don't worry. For now, let's it just be. So the next thing I'm going to do is mix the icing sugar for this. I'm not doing too much decoration, just covering it with the icing and that's all. Later, I'm going to make the chicken and the sauce. Yeah, I'm going to get cooking right now. See you. So there was really no plan for this icing. It was just go with the flow, do what I know how to do and do what I know I can do best. That was basically the plan for this icing. I didn't have any vision, any color, any decorations. I just needed something to like cover the cake. And the plan I had initially, like like I said, I d it didn't go through. So I had to just need to do what I had. And I'm not a professional, so I just did the basic <laughs> butter icing, you know? So cheers to me, cheers to me. I'm really, really, finding new hobbies this 2023. <laughs> I left the cake to cool for a bit so that by the time I put the icing, it wasn't going to be like melting on the cake because it was hot and stuff. I now flipped it over. That's when I realized that this cake, the bomb bomb was burnt. I know the bottom part, but <laughs> the bomb of this cake was burnt out like blood of Jesus. This cake going to taste burnt. So I just proceeded to cut it out and then leveled it up so that it looks good and the cake was looking fine. I was even shocked, like, ah, let me do this thing. <laughs> but let's just make the cake look at least presentable. So I said to put like coconut flakes on it and just make it look nice. I even forgot to buy cake, but look at Bika. <laughs> but anyways, it was still nice. It's really the third account, right? It was time for me to make my chicken sauce. And today I picked chicken sauce because I didn't want to eat regular, you know, food that you see in parties and stuff so i said to make chicken sauce i used fresh ingredients because obviously like health is wealth <laughs> so i want this sauce to have lots of color that's why i tried my best to incorporate you know different colors so that there'll be that pop of color and some roughness from the carrots <laughs> it's giving chef ashley <laughs> so i bought my chicken you know added my pepper sauce ah the pepper sauce really was peppery because I don't even remember what I put in there but this pepper sauce was too too peppery and my favorite part really was watching the chicken boil and the aroma coming off from this chicken was oh, wow like so enticing so I don't even know the word to describe it but it was good AF so finally it was time to add the veggies and I was so excited because yeah finally we are going to have some color and you know this chicken sauce is coming together it's not like water and chicken that you just be sipping yeah so making this was really fun for me because i really love like or i enjoy cooking and i added my thickener because i know i'm just drinking pepper soup or, <laughs> or drinking chicken stock you know so i added my thickener i didn't want to forget that's why i put that in last anyways i covered it and let it boil and eventually i still made some puff puff like you can Hey love, so I'm ready. I did just very minimal stuff in my eyes and my face. And I'm wearing this floral dress and my heels. Yep, so this is the look for the day. I hope it looks good though. Yep. Anyways, so we're going to leave now. See you guys when we get there. Hi guys, so we're waiting for what's her name? <laughs> like, I didn't want to plan this thing like not like I didn't plan it but like I forgot so many things in my house and it's sad but I'm not going to panic I'll wait so um I think the guys are about to go home to get it hallelujah please thank god so at least one thing has gone out of my body now but we have not set up anything so we have to keep on delaying her it's funny how she walk into this thing vlogging not knowing <laughs> not, <laughs> not knowing it's for her to. So when I got there, some of my friends were already there, so I just decided to, you know, join them and chill because I forgot some things at home, like almost everything. So my friends had to go back while I stayed there and, you know, just get everything and check. So just saying hi to all my friends, chilling with them until the others come. What is my name? 
Hi guys. Hi. And the name of my channel is Life with Tony. Period. You see, I've not posted in a year. Because that's because school. Okay. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> Let me tell you, shut your ass because you were away for like two years. <laughs> so don't even, don't even. No, no I'm not giving an excuse. Just my name priority. is Nene Agan, aka Nance Baby. Period. And you should check out my channel. So after chilling for a bit, I decided that okay, it was time to, you know, just set up the little thing that we had there, which was like the bride to be um banner. So we just had to look for where to put it so at least we can just take pictures with because we're not really doing like any crazy or chaotic decoration. So we just used that. We're mainly going to use that for pictures. And yeah, that's basically what we're doing. And then we're getting updates if they were on their way or like they were still stalling at home. Yeah. But it looked good. The bright to be everything looked nice and we're just trying to fix it in such a way that the short people were to show and the tall people were to still show. <laughs> so a couple of other my friends joined and all of us kept on waiting for the star of the show. <laughs> so finally they arrived and she saw all of us there. <laughs> it was funny because she didn't even realize what she was walking in. She was just greeting everybody so happy. You know, and Loki, she was the center of attention, but she didn't realize that she was the center of attention. Like, wow. You know, kisses to everybody. Like, wow, it's so nice to see all of you here. Not knowing that this is my stop. <laughs> so, after greeting my friends, I was like, okay, okay, all of us, let's take pictures, you know, before this Caribbean sun was set now, because this sun set so fast. She was still clueless. She was still clueless. Calling all of us to take pictures with her. She was getting a crown. She didn't wonder why any of us had a crown. Okay, come and take a picture before we sit down. There's no sun again. Come and stand right, come here. And stand right here and take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. now. Yeah. I'm nervous to where she's standing. You know. <laughs> You're standing in the right place. No, stand. It's fine. Yes. Who's coming? Who's coming? No, no, it's no, your turn. It's your turn. Everybody gets a crown. Yeah. Still as clueless as ever. It was then that we just had to, you know, tell her. Wanna turn around and see how it says? Everybody here knew now. Yeah, but I feel my hands. <laughs> my hands are like, feel my hands. <laughs> so we continued taking pictures. We just made sure, like, at least everybody had a shot. You know, it was fun. She was still in shock. <laughs> she was still in shock, but yeah, at least everybody was happy and excited. And the weather started to look funny, so we just had to hurry up and just make sure at least we got like good shots. And yeah. <laughs> Like but today it don't look like scrap. That scrap. day, today. the proposal day. <laughs> <laughs> I was never ever supposed to wear a crown. I was like, oh, okay, leave me come. <laughs> so after taking pictures, it was finally time for us to chill, sit down, you know, just relax. That was when the rain decided to show face. So like, we couldn't even stay out like in the main area. We had to like find a little canopy. We didn't plan for this so. It was really sad, like I was sad a bit because ah, we're supposed to have fun, you know, move around freely, take videos and stuff like that, but the rain started to start and it wasn't going to even end, it didn't look like it was going to end anytime soon. So we just had to pack ourselves into a small canopy and continue playing our game. <laughs> Oh, 
So after the first game we played, the weather wasn't even looking nice. It wasn't trying to get better, so we decided to move to a new location and continue the whole everything there. So we moved to a new location, which was a restaurant. When Tolu, it was love at first sight. Oh, he couldn't believe his eyes. She smelled like heaven and walked as graceful as a gazelle. <laughs> he walked over to her and said, Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! And introduced himself. She was so shy. She had seen him around and thought he was super cute slash handsome. They spoke for a while and exchanged contact. On their first day, they met at the zoo. And he couldn't keep his eyes off of her. Aww. After a wonderful night, he was hesitant to bring her home. She lovingly looked at him and said, Can't keep my hands to myself. Can't keep my hands to myself. <laughs> he just knew he had to see her again. Since then, they've been inseparable. And he started calling her his Chupo Pero Jaguar. Aww. Yo, yo, that. Yeah, no, we can't go home. It's Samuel Mentolu. It was love at first sight. He couldn't believe his eyes. She smelled like fresh strawberries. Ah! <laughs> and walked as graceful as a flamingo. Ah! One leg up. <laughs> okay. He walked over to say, Don was with his heel, which means the island bird. Oh, hey! She was overwhelmed. She had seen him around and thought he was super attractive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They talked for a while and exchanged numbers. On their first date, they started touching each other. Okay, disclaimer, one thing I am not is a writer, okay? Okay, okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. I never want people to be ready because I'm ashamed of myself, okay? <laughs> Since then, they have been inseparable and he started calling her my jolly jello <laughs> I literally just came up <laughs> when someone had met told me it was like at first sight it was like like uh -huh. he couldn't believe his heart she smelled like vanilla and walked as gracefully as a deer she was so shy she had seen him around and thought he was super dashing he was downcast to bring her home she tried to look at me and said and your ringtone no one come up on my eyes. <laughs> She was so flattered. She had seen him around and thought he was super cute. They talked for a while and exchanged numbers. On their first date, they ate at the restaurant and he couldn't keep his hands off of her. After a lovely night, he was sad. Wait, yeah? Yeah, he was sad to bring her home. She understood, looked at him and said, Good the girl forget things. <laughs> Good 
we ate and we just continued playing games and then we called it a night. And there my diary was how we surprised Tulu. <laughs> I'm really glad it worked out. Thank you for watching my Dominica Diaries. <laughs> I'm really grateful that you stayed till the end of this video. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed it. See you in my next video.